guys welcome back okay so today i'm going to be playing in this new norvina pro pigment mini palette <laughs> volume three so yeah this is her latest addition to her mini palette line and this is volume three and as you can see it has the very pretty teal packaging with kind of like the ruby um looking cherries on there so really really cute and on the back, it just has, you know, how she does her shadows with the letters and the numbers. It says it's cruelty free. There are pro pigments in this palette. So all of the shadows are not considered eye safe because of staining and things like that. I believe there is, let me give you a close look. I don't know if there's one um, pressed glitter or two. It looks like it might be two in there. I won't know until I swatch it because I haven't read all the information, but just looking at this palette, let me go ahead and put up some information as well. But just looking at this palette, all of the colors in this palette are so, so pretty. The blues, the greens, pinks, and reds. Uh, the concern I have is just trying to create a cohesive look using <laughs> all of these shadows. You know, if you don't want to just do the reds or the pinks and then you want to add some of the blue or the green it can get tricky so of course i'm going to do a cut crease but this is what she looks like so so cute so let me do some quick swatches for you guys so we can jump into this eye look okay so that looks like kind of an iridescent multi-chrome type color this one is definitely the pressed glitter had to bring you guys in a little bit closer. So yeah, that's definitely the pressed glitter. So this one here, which is that kind of like blue one that looks like it's pressed glitter, it's actually more like some type of a multi-chrome color shifting shadow. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. So yeah, that's not glitter. It just kind of looks like it a little bit. So pretty. These are all mattes. And the last three are mattes as well. So this is the whole palette swatch. All the shades are very, very pretty and they look nicely pigmented. So <sighs> let's figure out what we gonna do. <laughs> Cause Lord knows I do not know. Okay, so of course I'm gonna start off with some of my e.l.f. all day eyelid or eyeshadow primer. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with this light blue shade right here in the center. And I think I just wanna place that on the inner portion of my lid, or should I say inner portion of my crease. And it'll be interesting to see how these colors show up since I'm not using a white base. And it already looks like they're showing up. So I'm just going in and tapping it down before I blend. color is very soft it just feels very soft as I'm tapping it on my lid very pretty <laughs> very pretty though now I'm gonna go into the green shade down here and just place that on the outer portion of my crease as you guys can see I'm basically kind of creating the shape for my cut crease Okay, now that I have the blue and green placed down, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. And as always, I'm gonna use my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. This is when you look at your cut crease and you say, well, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. <laughs> okay guys, so let's go ahead and jump into some of these reds and pinks. I'm gonna go into this dark red shade down here and place that on the outer portion of my cut crease. Ooh, 
Ooh, that color is pretty. That is really pretty. <laughs> okay, and next to that, I wanna see what this pink is going to look like next to that red. And since I have on a pink shirt, let me go ahead and add some of that pink right next to that red. I must say, I really, really like that shade of pink. It's very, very pretty. It's not the easiest to blend out on top of this Revolution Cut Crease Canvas because with my eyes being so hooded, the Cut Crease Canvas does have a tendency to crease, as you can see. So I'm just trying to work around that as best I can and make sure that the blend is as smooth as possible. But that shade is gorgeous. Okay, so what I wanna do next might get a little bit tricky. I'm not sure how the colors are gonna to blend together, but I wanna take this first shade here, which is kind of like that iridescent shifting shade, and I wanna put some of the glitter on top of it. So yeah, I'm gonna try and put some of that down first on the inner portion. I'm gonna try some of it dry first. I don't know if it's really even making a difference, but it's pretty. <laughs> well, trying to get them as even as possible. <laughs> That's got to be close enough for today. Okay, so I want to take some of this pretty glitter and just place that on top of that light shadow. So I'm gonna place a little bit of my NYX glitter glue down and then I'm going to tap some of the glitter on top. And I'm not using a lot of glitter glue because I really do just wanna tap some of the glitter on top. Just so hopefully you can see it. I know I can see it. I don't know if you guys can, <laughs> but I can see it. It's pretty. Okay, so that's what the glitter is looking like. Very, very pretty. I like that. I wish I would have done my eyeliner first, I think. Hopefully it won't be hard for me to put my eyeliner on with this glitter on already, but that's what I'm gonna do now. Clean up, put my eyeliner on, finish my complexion, and then come back and we'll finish up these eyes and talk about this palette. Okay, you guys, so my complexion is done, as you can see. I am using all of my Shop My Stash items, so I will be doing a video shortly talking about my thoughts on those products and switching my items out because I'm ready for some new ones. But anyway, I'll list everything down in the description box below. So I'm gonna go in, I think I'm just gonna do a black eyeliner today, kind of keep the lower lash line simple and use the dark red to just kind of smoke out underneath my lashes. And of course I have glitter everywhere. <laughs> you guys know when you use glitter, it's bound to land everywhere. So I'm just going to take this dark red here and smoke out my lower lash line. That's pigmented, <laughs> very pigmented. Okay, now I'm gonna pop on some lashes. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look for this Norvina Mini Volume 3 eyeshadow palette. As you can see, I did go in with the intention of creating a look that was indicative of how this eyeshadow palette looks, the color scheme and whatnot. So while this is a very bright, bold eye look, not your everyday look, not for most people. <laughs> if you are a true artist, I definitely feel like you would love playing around in this palette because I'm an artist at heart, so I love to just create. Whether it be practical or not, I love to create. So I feel like these shadows are very nicely pigmented, that they blend together beautifully. What I will say about this palette though is with it being pigments, 
if you don't like working with pigments, you won't like this palette because you definitely have to take your time, pat the pigment down and just gently blend the edges to get it to, you know, kind of be a nice cohesive look. This is not one of those palettes where you just go in, throw the color down, blend it out and everything works out fine. No, <laughs> this is not that kind of palette. So just FYI, if you don't really like pigments or you're not someone who's into these bright, bold colors, there's no need for you to buy this palette. But if you're like me and you do like seriously bright, bold colors and you don't mind working with pigments, I think you can have a lot of fun with this palette. I'm actually really looking forward to using this shade here. I mean, when I swatched it, I was like, whoa. <laughs> so it's gorgeous so i cannot wait to use that with the baby blue and the green but anyways those are just my thoughts on this palette you guys definitely not a necessary must-have palette but if you just love makeup or you're a collector of norvina palettes or you just want to play in some different types of colors then it's not too bad so i like it this is the look So that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!